Hey, this is the first Django project in this channel. The project is about create a storybook website with Django. This project is effective for all and beginners and those people who just started with Django. I will clear a lot of concept by this project. I mainly focus in developing means backend developing. For designing, I use Bootstrap. And also, I will clear the concept of API. So, don't worry, I will not take a lot of time. Just create it. So, let's start. At first, open the CMD and create a Django project. So, type Django admin start project and project. Now, create a app name story. So, type Django admin start app story. Okay. So, now open any code editor. So, I open it with VS code. So, at first, go to project and go to settings.py and Install the app's story. Okay. So now go to story and go to models.py. Here we need two model. One is category and second is story. So at first create category model. So class category. Inherit from models.model. And next, create field. So first is name. Name is character field. So models dot character field. And max length is 150. And db index equal to true. Okay. So next, create a field for slag. I will use in it URL. So that's why I create a slag field. So slag equal models dot slag field. And unique equal true because every category has a unique slag. Okay. Now define the str function. Pass the argument self and it return self dot name. Now define a class meta. So this meta class for ordering. I want to ordering by minus name. It means reverse by name. Now create a model named story. Story and category model connected by the foreign key. Okay. So just create a model story. So class story inherit from models dot model. Okay. At first type category and Category equal models dot foreign key. Foreign key will connect story and category. Okay. So, first type the model name category. And then type on delete equal models dot cascade. It means when you delete the category, then the all story belongs to this category will be deleted. So now, type a field for title. Title is a character field. Now create field for body. And body is the text field. Models dot text field. Later, I will add the rich text editor. 
so now create a field for description so description i just write des equal to models dot text field okay this is for the list view it is not required but here i create it and next create a field for publish publish equal models dot date time field and auto add now is true auto now add is true okay so now define the str function pass the argument self and it return self dot title okay now create a class meta and this class for ordering ordering and the ordering by publish okay so now save it and go to admins.py and import the model from dot models import story and category okay so now register it so admin dot site dot register register the model story okay so now register the model category admin dot site dot register category okay so now save it and open the cmd and make migration and migrate the models python manage dot py make migration now migrate it python manage dot py migrate now create a super user so python manage dot py create super user and the name is admin email address admin at rate gmail dot com and the password is admin admin and y okay so now run the server python manage dot py run server so now type the local host okay so now type slash admin and put the username and password so username is admin and password is admin okay so here is category and here is story so here create some categories so here i want to create categories by author's name so add a category so at first i create category for oscar wilde and put a slack field now save it if you type space it will not work so just remember it type a valid slack field okay the slack field consisting of letters number underscore or hyphens so now save it create another category for ruskin bond now remove the space and type hyphen now create some stories okay go to stories and go to add story and category is oscar wilde so the title title is the self is giant the self is giant okay just copy and paste the story here and write some descriptions about the story okay so now save it you have to do create some stories in the same way so see you in next video